It is time to pass the peace of Christ. When the early church gathered, they were desperate to see one another, pass the peace of Christ, fellowship together, and most of all, to worship the Lord Jesus Christ, the risen Son of God. By passing or sharing in greeting the words, the peace of Christ, they were reminding themselves and one another of Jesus Christ, whose death on the cross and resurrection is the only source of peace between God and man. As it was then, so it is now, a great encouragement when we pass the peace of Christ. This simple yet powerful statement, the peace of Christ be with you, and our response and also with you is life-giving and transcends the daily challenges of living in an ungodly world. Welcome to the Renaissance Gathering coming to you from Washington, D.C. Today, we as Christians in the United States and many oppressed countries around the world are increasingly, rapidly, coming to a point of identification with the persecution of the early followers of Jesus Christ. The early church was living in a hostile society and culture. The early church was living under hostile governments and religious authorities that viewed them as a threat because they acknowledged the sovereign authority and lordship of Jesus Christ as the divine Son of God. We experience this same spirit of hostility when we identify with Jesus Christ and become a threat to the status quo by taking a moral and biblical stand against the destructive debauchery and deluded perversions sanctioned by our culture and even our government. The early Christians spoke the phrase, the peace of Christ, secretly in difficult circumstances as an identification with Jesus Christ and an encouragement to one another. It was also used to greet one another when they gathered to worship and soon became a tradition and today is a part of the liturgy in many churches. I would encourage you to regard this as a very special part of your worship when you greet one another in the church and in the community. This is not just meant for Christians. It is important that you speak and minister the peace of Christ into the lives of those desperate and needy family, friends, and non-believers that you encounter every day. Grace and peace, that special sense of spiritual well-being, be multiplied to you in the true intimate knowledge of God and of Jesus, our Lord, the Apostle Peter shared as he continues, for his divine power has bestowed on us absolutely everything necessary for a dynamic spiritual life and godliness through true and personal knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and excellence. This powerful passage of scripture opens to each of us endless opportunities to be strengthened and empowered by the Holy Spirit. And as Lynn has said, to come out of your self-imposed obscurity and fear to reveal your identity as Christ's own. It also challenges us to fully live in and share the grace and peace that God has so freely given to us through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Whatever storm you are walking through or see on the horizon, Jesus will be with you just as he was with the disciples in their boat 
on their stormy sea. He will declare to the wind and overwhelming waves of in your life, peace, be still. Right now, I pass the peace of Christ to you. Pass his peace to someone else personally and also by sharing this message. I pass the peace of Christ to you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen.